All right, let me who they know. We did see a meat gunner be created, so. The meat gunner may not be taken out. Though. Could just be a threat, you know? <laughs> oh, no, the meat gunner is going to come out. Gonna come oh, here we go. He's going to go with his main. Oh. Yeah. All right, Joker versus a 1-1 one, one, shoot on one, meat gunner. It's interesting, because I know from, from my reception. I know that uh, Reflection like to play a bit more passive with Joker, uh, comparison to others, who like to go for some crazy setups and uh, option selects. However, in this matchup, you kind of have to be aggressive. You can already really see that. Yeah. If you let me gunner fit, I mean, you know, you, you just don't want to let me gonna get that space, really. I'll throw in there. Mm. Went for the, uh, for lack of a better word, Opie on, oh, the, on that platform. Bringing out some, uh, some of you gonna more close range options. Um, I'm very interested to see how, uh, how the Mii Gunner goes. Yeah, I wonder. Ooh. Oh, I wonder how Tetrakarn's gonna play against Me Gunner. You know, if they're gonna have to be watching out for that reflector a lot. Um, but I, the Me Gunner does have a reflector of their own. I, I was, I. Full disclosure, I was shocked. I thought Me Gunner's up here to kill it at 115. Uh, oh, back there, there will take it. Back will, back there will, back there will take the job though. Oh, he's forward air. Yeah. Get back to the forward air from me gunner does drift you back a good bit. So it can be used for some smoothness. Reflection is gonna find oh, Look at that, kind of gliding along the air with the forward air. Oh. Drop okay. yep. mm. <laughs> He's actually, I, I can see what he's doing specifically now. He's using down B to side to, to change direction and then forward air to get back oh, to the Oh, I see. Okay. Easily. So it's a nice little beaver move he got going. It's an easy setup, it's really nice. Yeah. Also has the, the similar to uh, PK Fire side B. What a confirm. Yeah, if PK Fire into uh into big big uh, cannon. Yeah, you know? Don wanting to catch a Don wanting to catch a, a dump there with yeah. up there. Unsort who would have killed uh the Gunner has to be stronger than I I imagine right now. Ooh, and there's the fully charged flash it's gonna take that stock. All right, another fully charged one, ready to go. All right, good nice grab, thing. yeah. Getting a grab oh, off a Rebel yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a really, it's kind of, it's kind of an interesting matchup, I think. Definitely. I mean, Joker, you know, likes to, likes to kind of rush down people. And Sneak Gunner is just keeping the distance. So do you see that PK fire on ledge right into the um, full charge blast? That's gonna... Like, if he gets up into that, that's some free damage right there. You can, you can kind of compare the setup that Stiv John has on the Gunner. It's, it's a kind of a, a buffed out dumb Yeah, really definitely. Good shield. You got the fire on the ledge, yeah, and then you punish <laughs> with a, a really strong move right with now. A yeah. Um, except this one, you, it will be harder to SDI out of. It seems that Me Gunner's uh, Flame Pillar has less hit, so that will be harder to SDI yeah. out of. Back row, what's that? You're going to lift Oh, Ooh, that, to catch that, that drift from that. forward air is being used very nicely. Nice. Nice. Was... Yeah. Yeah. He was dragging him down with the up air. That's the up tilt. Up tilt, definitely a kill move on Me Gunner. Also, another important thing in this matchup is that the up speed that um, John is using is, I believe, the strongest one for me, Gunner. It makes it, a, so. makes it a really good out of shield option, um, and it can, it has some kill potential to it. We didn't. I don't think we saw any kills from it. But. Oh, okay. So I, we do have confirmation uh, this player is actually stimulating fly. Okay. <laughs> At least I assume. Uh, <laughs> yeah, going going that? for the Morton pick. Okay, yeah, both uh, players. Both players. As, as we predicted, both players will take a, a character swap. And regarding Yoshi's, I feel like this is benefiting Bayo a bit more. However, with those slants, that they have some fun setups. Yeah. Um, and, you know, know, let's be professional here. It is Morton, not Bowser Jr. Yep, sorry. Um, I didn't so, mean that, but I thought it was Bowser Jr. <laughs> Bayonetta. Keeping the pressure on, getting some really nice pressure off here. Very nice damage. Reflection with an awesome start. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Morgan's struggling to recover, but it just feels like he's not catching a break right now. Beaver burst, they can take it out. 
low committal option in that situation. That was really good. It's kind of hard to do to like, yeah, be reverse that and do APD down. That's pretty hard. Also, oh. I'm not sure if it works with Mecha Cooper, but I, I'm pretty sure it does with Cannonball. But which time does does work in a zone? If, even if you're hitting the projectile. Let's see if that comes into play. Because if it works on Mecha Koopa, that could be that could be some nasty options right there. And I, I think the switch off of the gunner, specifically that set, was a good idea here. Because something you know you realize with that B gunner set is they're kind of sacrificing the upbeats and recovery options that B gunners have with the feet echoes very high up. Yeah, the one that you're able to the, the, it's control the whole yeah. Sacrificed a bit of his recovery options for a better out of shield or no, no. Yeah. However, with the reflection, he can not put the put the downbeat on each other, not the player reflect. He can use that to reverse himself and throw it again. Yeah. It's kind of ingenious. However, against Beho, she might have just too much coverage with both the stage. So I yeah. think the best ginger pick is technically a good pick here. It's just yeah. a matter of let's see if he can do all the time. getting a grab into the flat. Teaching more in a left. Very Ooh, nice back there, nice back there. Called, yeah. called out that aggressive option and dropped down fair. I hit, I hit at least match match. I was good. I was like, Let's see if uh, John can take out a side here. Oh, right there. Commentator's first. <laughs> I say it, it happens. Um, you know, I've been interested in seeing the Mega Koopa play here, but I feel like I haven't seen it too much. I feel like Reflection is suffocating uh, Skip a bit too much, and here comes Yoshi! Whoa. The Flash! Okay, that is oh. gonna do it. How, how did he even pull it off? I couldn't see what was going on, bro. Why can't the camera move up? I missed the action. <laughs> you know, I'm just watching that little radar. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's going on up there. We're essentially watching two dots. Yeah, right? You know, we're gonna need some Marvel air combos in there. Like, you know, move the camera up. I can't see. Stem sticking with Bowser Jr. And also sticking with Bayonetta here. Nice. Let's see where this goes. On Cloud, I feel like this is gonna be a bit better for Morton. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's more space for him to keep out. You know, maybe. Maybe there were some Mecha Koopas that he wanted to do, but uh, the, the space of the Yoshi's, he couldn't really get it. Oh, wow. Very and nice it's a hard start. Um, you know, this is kind of the opposite of last game, you know, with Bayonetta starting with a really strong move. Since the, the momentum has kind of shifted completely already, though, Reflection has something to say about that. Ooh, very good bonus, man. I guess... You wanted to go for APK on him. That's... Okay, I yeah. feel like that's what that was. No, no, no. It, it's not Yeah. Oh, that's the thing? Reflection fighting back. Here. Still got some fight not in it. Not quite gonna kill them. He's even gonna go back and get the back. It's very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. And still following him, even after he ditches the clown club. I, I didn't have a clue. Because I couldn't... I couldn't... I think that was... I think that was a good picture, too. Just going yeah. for continuing the combo, because if you yeah. wanted to try to... Stop after the whip whip and just kind of hold him that. Ooh, that was was an early kill. He would have got the Mecha Koopa in time to recover. Yeah. That was an early kill. I, was, I think that was just the the Koopaling Scepter, I guess. Okay, that is going to be a good stock, but Patch is going to be laid down low. Yeah, things are right underneath the stage. Ain't no recovering from that. Switching up his options, don't want to go for ABK on Legend again for yeah. Not after that forward smash at the start of the game. That would have been a very good reset. He wanted to call out uh, some kind of air dodge or a match out of that combo. I think he barely missed space, but that was a really good idea. Ooh, how? Is he going to go to the other side? Yes, he is. Yeah, okay. That was a nice clown car into, uh, I guess, eject, whatever whatever that's called. The up B. Sending him down with the clown. That was very nice. Cancel side B. Question is going to get his own combo coaster. Oh, wow. So side being up to you, it seems like a pretty pretty good setup for uh, Martin. Very, very, very so second in a fair. That's within up though, not gonna get that time. First smash on Bowser Jr. or two plays is too very safe. Got to be careful when it comes to blocking that. Yep. However, he's doing a really good job of bringing back this stock, and it's like, no, no, it's a reflection as well. Reflection is very clutch. Uh, Oh, um, scary. Yeah, this is scary. scary. Be beta is really light. Keep in mind, John's still got a whole nother stock, so he can afford to play it a little risky if he wants to. I think he can afford to play a little risky. Nice, very nice. That was a... Very nice. Yeah, get a Koopaling on you and then send you flying and then the Koopaling finishes you off. Yep, very nice. Yeah, the um... 
know. That was a very, uh, that was a very cool grab. I don't know. I, I've never seen people time it that well. Usually, when it comes to Bowser Jr. set play, you kind of set up Mecha Koopa either to call out a grab or call out a jump. Yeah. Um, and in that situation, a high percent, Stim John was kind of saving that for the very last the cherry on top. Yeah. Um, it was right there. Oh, yeah. Very exciting next match. Speaking of Christmas, that round. Uh, perhaps just grabbing their controllers. <laughs> we're going to take a second. Right.